The bodies of three more Israeli hostages have been recovered from Gaza. A statement by the Israel Defense Forces identified the victims as a 42-year-old Hanan Ablonka, 59-year-old Michael Nesambaum and 32-year-old Orion Hernandez. IDF spokesperson Daniel Hagari says the bodies were recovered from the northern town of Jabalia in a joint overnight operation with Israel's domestic intelligence agency. Two of the victims were killed after fleeing from the site of the Nova Music Festival, which was ambushed by Hamas. It comes a week after three other hostages' bodies were retrieved from Gaza. The dead hostages were among 252 people who were taken captive when Hamas attacked Israel on October 7. Israel believes there are still about 130 people held in Gaza. It is with a heavy heart that I share that last night, Israeli special forces in Gaza rescued the bodies of our hostages, Hanania Vlonka, Michel Nissenbaum, Orion Hernandez. Their bodies were rescued during a special operation based on precise intelligence in the area of Gaza. Hanan was partying with his friends at the Nova Music Festival. He was murdered by Hamas terrorists and his body was taken into Gaza. Michel, an Israeli and Brazilian citizen, was on his way to pick up his four-year-old granddaughter. He was murdered by Hamas terrorists and his body was taken into Gaza. Orion Hernandez, a tourist from Mexico with French citizenship, was partying, in his, was partying with his girlfriend, Shani Luke, at the Nova Music, Fe, Music Festival. Shani and Orion were celebrating life in the Nova Music Festival. They were both murdered by Hamas terrorists and their bodies were taken into Gaza. Our hearts go out to their families at this difficult time. Meanwhile, the International Court of Justice has ruled that Israel must halt its military offensive in the southern Gaza city of Rafah, citing the immediate risks to the Palestinian people. The ICJ also ordered Israel to open the Rafah border crossing with Egypt for the entry of humanitarian aid at scale and to report to the court within one month on its progress in applying the measures ordered in court. The head of the International Court of Justice, Nawaf Salam, says the court is not convinced that Israel's evacuation efforts in Gaza are sufficient, adding that the humanitarian situation in Rafah has deteriorated further since the last court order in March. The court also expressed grave concern over the fate of the hostages held in Gaza, calling for the immediate and unconditional release. This development is part of a much bigger case brought by South Africa, accusing Israel of committing genocide against Palestinians in Gaza. In the meantime, Colombian President Gustavo Petro has ordered the opening of an embassy in the Palestinian city of Ramallah. Earlier this month, President Petro recalled the Colombian ambassador from Tel Aviv after the embassy was closed on May 3rd. The president, one of the most vocal critics of Israel since the start of the war, says he would break diplomatic relations with the country. In response, Israel accuses Mr. Petro of being anti-Semitic and full of hate following its decision to cut ties with the country, alleging the move was a reward for Hamas. Meanwhile, Colombia's foreign minister, Luis Moreno, believes more countries will soon begin to back recognition of a Palestinian state after Spain, Ireland and Norway's decision to do so.